Prime Minister Edi Rama's podcast, a laughable diversion in the face of Albania's suffering. It is undeniably absurd that while Albania faces a myriad of pressing issues, Prime Minister Edi Rama has chosen to indulge in a YouTube podcast. Albania's citizens continue to grapple with an array of dire problems such as a dysfunctional healthcare system, widespread poverty, and a woefully inadequate state. Meanwhile, Rama's decision to embark on this podcast venture comes across as an inexcusable diversion from his duties as the leader of a nation in crisis. Podcasting while Rome burns. Prime Minister Rama's foray into the world of podcasting has raised more than a few eyebrows. It is baffling that, at a time when Albania's population is enduring the harrowing consequences of poverty and a healthcare system in shambles, Rama has chosen to amuse himself on a platform known for its frivolous content. Albania's ailing healthcare system. Albania's healthcare system has been a cause for concern for years. Insufficient medical facilities, a severe lack of resources, and rampant corruption have left the population with limited access to healthcare services. Tragically, the consequences of this neglect often include needless suffering and loss of life. In the face of such dire circumstances, Prime Minister Rama's dalliance with a YouTube podcast is a glaring display of indifference to the urgent healthcare needs of his constituents. The crushing weight of poverty. Poverty and economic hardship continue to cast a long shadow over Albania. A substantial portion of the population lives below the poverty line, struggling daily to make ends meet. High unemployment rates and a scarcity of opportunities, especially for the youth, exacerbate the economic challenges. Against this backdrop, Prime Minister Rama's decision to prioritize a YouTube podcast over concrete economic reforms and job creation is nothing short of absurd. A deluge of criticism. Unsurprisingly, the launch of Prime Minister Rama's YouTube podcast has ignited a firestorm of criticism and public outrage within Albania. Many citizens have taken to social media to vent their frustration and disappointment with a leader who appears more interested in self-promotion than addressing the needs of the people. It is hardly a stretch to say that Rama's podcasting venture has been met with ridicule and scorn. Conclusion while open and transparent communication between leaders and citizens is a fundamental tenet of democratic governance, Prime Minister Edi Rama's YouTube podcast is a grotesque misstep, especially given the dire straits in which Albania finds itself. The nation grapples with a failing healthcare system, endemic poverty, and a litany of other pressing issues that demand urgent attention. In this context, Rama's decision to prioritize a podcast over addressing these crucial concerns is nothing short of laughable. The citizens of Albania deserve better, and they deserve a leader who takes their plight seriously. It is high time that Prime Minister Rama shifts his focus from the realm of YouTube entertainment to the pressing matters that continue to afflict his country.